Good morning. I'm on a walk right now. I'm listening to Mad Honey by Jody Picoult and Jennifer Finney Boylan. It's really good so far. I'll put a photo here of the audiobook. I'm just on my way to check out a new coffee shop. It's called Berdina's. It looks really cute. And to buy some more sunscreen because the desert is getting very, very hot and we've used up all of our sunscreen. doing some meal prep I'm making a big batch of pasta salad for the week so we can just kind of have it in the fridge so I've got my pasta or pasta as they say in the states and then I made this homemade vinaigrette it's like a lemony Dijon with fresh dill and then I add chickpeas cucumber an orange bell pepper red onion tomato and a little bit of feta so that's my meal prep. Look at these colors, it looks so good.
Hello, good morning. I have a meeting with my publisher this morning, so that's why I'm wearing a blazer up top so I can try to look kind of professional. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I'll show you my little Zoom setup. I've just stacked my laptop on a bunch of books and then I'm gonna work, so a good day ahead. Hello, good morning. I have a Zoom meeting with my publisher, so that's why I've got this blazer on right now, business up top. This is my little makeshift Zoom setup. We've got my tripod of books there, and I'm all ready to go. What we got double double animal style cheeseburger fries milkshake yeah i don't remember the last time i had a milkshake Hello, Jeff and I are heading out on a fun date night. Just wanted to show you my little outfit. I just got this purse at Target. It's so cute. I love the structure. Kind of reminds me of Matt and Nat, this vegan leather brand, but it's really cute. I'm wearing my clear heels from Amazon. These are my white 501 Levi's. I love these jeans. I have them in black and denim as well. And this blouse is like really old from Zara. So the place that we're going is called Platform 18, and it's supposedly, according to the website, one of the world's best cocktail bars. They only serve cocktails. They open up their reservations 30 days in advance, but I was able to get a reservation seven days in advance, so I think it should be fine. Um, I read about this place in Condé Nast Traveler, and thought it would be fun to try. They don't serve any food, it's only cocktails, and the reason it's called Platform 18 is that it's designed like an old-fashioned Pullman train car. It only seats 36 people, and it's a 90-minute immersive journey. They said there could be audible sounds, lights, haze, smoke, fog, throughout the whole 90-minute Basically, it's a cocktail tasting, it sounds like, but you can pick whatever drinks that you want, and they are just there to kind of help you. And they have these TV screens that look like windows, so it actually looks like you're traveling through kind of the Prohibition era. So I'm curious to see how it goes, and I think we'll just find somewhere easy after for dinner or just come back here for dinner. But I thought it would be something cool that we could try, especially since it said it's one of the world's best cocktail bars. I mean, that's a pretty big claim. Yeah, just good to kind of get out after a big day of writing. This place is so cool. Hi, 
That is perfection. Is that medium? That's, that's, that's medium. Medium. <laughs>